In this video, we're asked to find the limit of a function, and the limit that we're asked to take is this. We're asked to find the limit of x plus change in x cubed minus x cubed all over change in x. And we're asked to find that limit as the change in x approaches 0. And what I always tell everybody is, the first thing you want to do is try to go to direct substitution. If we go to direct substitution, that is to say, if we let change of x equals 0, the function becomes undefined. So obviously we have some work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this. So first step would be to expand. If you have a calculator, especially if you have a TI, uh, Inspire, TI Cast, TI CX, uh, TI 89 Titanium, any of those can actually do this expansion for you. Uh, in the absence of that, we'll do our own expansion using binomial theorem. So I'm going to rewrite this limit as the change of x goes to 0. And when we expand this, remember binomial expansion, we're going to get x cubed plus 3x squared change of x plus 3x change of x squared plus change of x cubed. That's pretty good. And then, of course, we have this minus x cubed here all over change in x. Again, what we're looking for is direct substitution. So we have to ask ourselves, can the change of x go to 0 yet? And the answer is no, isn't it? Do a little cancellation here. And then if you notice right here, this is what I'm looking at now. And this is what you kind of kind of learn to look for in calculus. There's a change of x here. There's at least a factor of change in x here. And there's at least a factor of change in x here, right? So what I'm going to do is factor out change in x. Please remember that change of x is one term. It's not delta times x uh, or any other variation. You can't divide by delta and just get x or divide by x and just get delta. This is one singular term. It, it uh, bothers a lot of people. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that out. As I do, your professor is going to definitely want to see you writing this limit process. So there's that. And I'm going to factor out this change of x. There's my change of x times 3x squared. And if you can try this backwards, change of x times 3x squared is 3x change of x, right? So plus 3x change of x plus change of x squared, right? All over this change of x. Now look what's going to happen. Now change of x can go to 0. And we have the limit as the change of x goes to 0 of 3x squared plus 3 x change in x plus change in x squared. Now take the limit. All right? All right, any questions, you'll let me know.